There's been a whiff of something like the Arab Spring on the chilly streets of Bucharest. But it might be because of a man who grew up in Nablus. Rad Arafat left cabinet last week, bringing thousands onto the streets. This week, he's back. The government dumped its plan to open up Romania's emergency services to private sector companies. So I didn't resign because of an ego or to challenge or so on. I resigned really because I believe in something, which is uh, the emergency system that we developed and the emergency care that should be provided to any patient, to anyone, without uh, putting the question of commercial uh, competition in it. In any other country, Arafat might be seen as a revolving door politician, but the reaction to his return to office here on University Square was one of relief. Since the beginning of the demonstrations, he has been a symbol for change. The big change these people want is for President Trajan Basescu to resign. Arafat stood up to him on a TV talk show over the proposed reform before resigning to be able to speak more freely. Well, this whole movement was started uh, because uh, the conflict between Basescu and Arafat. So I think he's pretty respected, yeah. Well, we think he's a sincere person uh, and uh, that's why we support him, I guess. Without. Arafat says the demonstrators have a whole lot of social and economic problems to solve, but that's a job for the politicians. He says he's just a doctor. Though you, I'm proud of the support that the population had for me. I mean, the way they looked and the, 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 the confidence they had in what we did in the emergency system and in my person, I think this is really something that I will never forget. And however long the protests last, the people don't seem likely to forget Dr. Arafat either. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Bucharest.